Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come watch my content. Uh, I truly appreciate it, so honestly, thank you. Uh, really excited for tonight's shave. So, uh, so for today, this is my latest purchase from Sterling. So this is Mountain Man. Um, yeah, Ben from the soap thing and Matt from Shaving the Day turned me on to this one. Um, I've been a Sterling fan for years and Every time I was on the website, I I don't know why, I always thought this was like a piney, woody type scent because Sterling, that's kind of their thing. I mean, they got like Ozark Mountain, uh, Gatlinburg, Coniferous. They got, you know, their whole line of pine scents. And I always figured this one was kind of in a similar vein, but um, I'm really pleasantly surprised with it because this is actually a dupe of a Creed Cologne, uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water. And it's phenomenal. Um, so I'm really, really excited to be shaving with Mountain Man today. Now let's take a look at the soap here. So I have used this a number of times. I think I got this a few months ago, but it is still my latest soap purchase from Sterling. Kind of see where I scooped out there for the bull lathers. And yeah, this one is pretty soft compared to my other Sterling soaps. This one is definitely on the softer side. Um, you gotta love sterling man 5.8 ounces they just fill it up to the brim look at that this one is just filled up all the way to the top absolutely love it and probably one of the best cover art probably one of the best soap labels that sterling makes there look at how awesome that is love the label of mountain man yeah really really awesome you know i always kind of this is something i kind of noticed so i always did like brands where um you know, most of their stuff just has a generic label, but then a few have really cool labels, and that's kind of what Sterling does with, like, Mountain Man, and I think Barbershop and Electric, Se Electric Sheep, they have really cool labels, and then the rest just have generic labels. Um, I don't know why they do that, but I do kind of think it's a nice little touch, so. Uh, let's see, moving on to the razor, so got the pretty big Maggard MR8 handle. Super, super heavy. Absolutely love this thing. Don't see a lot of other people using handles this big like I do, but I don't know. I like it. I think the weight really adds to, really aids in the shave. And then this is a different razor head. So I've been really into mixing and matching my razor handles and razor heads lately. Um, you know, since I've been in the hobby for a couple of years now, now that I've acquired a lot of razors, I just really like mixing and matching razor heads. I think it's one of the most fun parts of the hobby for me. Um, yeah, so razor head is Edwin Jagger DE86, pretty mild head. I would say comparable to like the Mercur 34C, but it's really easy to shave with. You could basically shave with this thing on autopilot. You really don't have to think and um, that's just kind of what I'm in the mood for tonight. And Blade is Astra Superior Stainless. So I love Astra. I love the green Astras, but these ones are really good too. I haven't really used these in a while. But um, last time I used them, they were pretty good. So I'm going to see how they go this time. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Got the matching splash for the Mountain Man. Ran it down a little bit and really cool label on their Mountain Man Splash that acts as there. I don't think they put, um, I don't think they put labels like that in all their aftershaves. I think some are just generic. And then, you know, you have the few that have a really cool uh, label art on there. Oh yeah, and I got this PAA scooper with the cowboy. Yeah, I use this to scoop out the soap. Yeah, I got two of them. I didn't even know PAA had it on their site, but uh, PAA, as we know, their operation is just crazy. You never know what you're going to find. And I was browsing the site and I just, I just happened to find these. Hey, sorry about that. My throat decided to not agree with me, so I had to get a drink of water. Um, but yeah, I was showing you this uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements scooper pick. I got it for like two bucks off the Phoenix site. I got like two of them. They're, they make really, really awesome scoopers. Uh, let's take a look at the lather here in the Pereira Shave Wool. Boom. Really, really nice nice lather today. Whipped it up with the PAA Amber Aerolite. I know a lot of people like this brush. 
This is my latest brush purchase, I believe. Um, and it's good. I like the, I like the PA, PAA synthetic brushes. They're cheap. They got the job done and I really like the handle on this one. It's got really nice grip. Um, and the soap ladder up really good today. This is exactly how I like it. You know, you got the structure, um, it's not too runny, but you also got that nice sheen. So yeah, this is, yeah, this is probably going to shave really good. I can tell really liked how I whipped up this one today. Um, a lot of times lately I've been over hydrating lathers. I've been too, putting too much water in my bowl and then it ends up, you know, it kind of breaks the soap. Um, but I did not do that this time and I could tell this is going to shave well. So I am looking forward to it. Um, Sterling always gets the job done. Uh, great soap base. Can't go wrong. All right, let's get this shave going. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm going to get back to, I want to shoot to do like one video a week. That's my usual goal. Um, but I've had a lot going on lately so haven't been able to do that but hopefully soon i want to get back to that and watching uh more people's content so um, so yeah hopefully that happens pretty soon i've said it before um but sterling is my favorite artisan and for for many for a good amount of reasons um Customer service, 10 out of 10, you know, value, 10 out of 10, selection, 10 out of 10. Uh, you know, it just, Sterling really just nails it on all cylinders. Uh, you know, just the, the price to performance ratio is just, you just can't beat it. It's just absolutely great. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of good experiences talking to Rod and Mandy, they just really care about their products and their customers. And um, I'm just a huge Sterling fan. Just absolutely, absolutely great. Um, love the bath soaps too. I just, I always get their bath soaps. They do have my favorite bath soaps. I have tried bath soaps from several artisans and Sterling's are my favorite. They're just really, really good. Uh, other artisans I've noticed their bath soaps don't really lather up that great, but Sterling's do. I like them a lot. Um, all right, so this lather is looking good. Didn't overhydrate it. All right. PA Amber Airlight Synthetic. Nice handle on this brush. Yeah, if anyone else has this um, this brush, let me know what you think of it because it feels really comfortable in the hand. So. All right, Sterling generates. Great lather as usual, you know, and I know they're not considered like, you know, a, a top tier soap base or whatever. Like people like to say that, but I think it is, you know, if I could only use Sterling the rest of my life, I would be more than happy with that. <laughs> so like I was saying before, um, I've been a Sterling fan for a long time and every time I saw Mountain Man on the site. Um, I always just kind of scrolled by it because I thought it was like a pine woody scent and I already have a lot of those. So I kind of just skipped over it, but, um, yeah, that lather looks good. But yeah, Matt from Shaving the Day and Ben from the Soap thing got me turned on to Mountain Man. So thank you guys. Um, I'm just really pleasantly surprised with the scent. It's, it's a dupe of a Creed cologne, so Creed Silver Mountain Water. And I have smelled uh, a number of Sterling's. Oh, I gotta start with the grain. What am I doing? Get some more lather up there. Um, yeah, I've smelled a number of Sterling's Creed dupes. I've smelled Island Man, which is a dupe of um, Creed Virgin Island Water. Absolutely love Island Man. It smells fantastic. Um, and I've smelled Executive Man, which is a creed of, a, a dupe of Creed Aventus, which I also really, really like. Um, I like Island Man better. Uh, I think Executive Man is a little too cologne for my taste. I'm not, I'm not too big when scents are too overly cologne -y. Um, 
but Island Man is, is a really, really nice beach scent that's not, not too cologne-y. And um, that's also the case with Mountain Man. So even though I'm not the biggest cologne fan, um, Mountain Man is just really, really awesome. It's not, it's not too overly cologne-y. It's just a really, really, really pleasant scent. Um, it's not too strong. It's just, it's really, really darn good. Yeah, anyone else who's ever used uh, Mountain Man, let me know what you think of it because I absolutely love it. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge cologne fan. I don't have too many cologne dupes in my collection. Uh, I know a lot of people do like cologne stuff, but, um, but man, even as, even as a guy who's not big into cologne scents, Mountain Man is so, so fantastic. Um, so what do we got going on in Mountain Man? We got bergamot, orange, green tea, black currant, galbanum, musk, sandalwood, and pedigree. So when I was first reading, reading the list of notes in the site, the only one I didn't really know about was galbanum, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Um, but galbanum is, it's an herb that, that grows in the mountains of Iran. And it has like a green kind of woody type scent, I think it said. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in any way a perfumery expert, so. I try to do the best I can. All right, so far so good with this um, this mild Edwin Jagger head with the, the Astra Blue. It's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, it's not too mild, but it's still really comfortable. And the weight of this handle, I just love it. It just really, really aids in the shave. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure because the handle already, the weight of it already does it for you, so it's nice. Yeah, shaping with this is just like the Mercur 34C. It's just, it's, it's so, so easy. Barely have to think when you shave with it. Love that too, look at that, when it gets all Oh, when the razor gets like that, when all the soap gets under there, it just looks really cool. Um, yeah, sorry to get carried away from the scent, but... Um, yeah, so I... So what I get from Mountain Man is... Um, again, it's kind of funny because I think a lot of people... When they see this on the Sterling site, they, they probably don't know that it's a, it's a cologne dupe. They probably just figure it's a pine woody scent. But man, it's good. So I definitely pick up the, I definitely pick up the citrus notes. Like I get the, the bergamot, the orange, and the pedigree. Really nice push shape slickness here, Sterling. Yeah, so it's just, it's a really nice, so I definitely get all the citrus notes. I get the, I get a little bit of the green tea in there mixed in with the citrus. I get the black currant too, which is, uh, so for those of you who don't know, black currant is a berry. It's a really well blended scent. I mean, you know, if it's based on a Creed cologne, they're, you know, Creed does it the best. I mean, they're amazing. So it makes sense that it's such a phenomenally blended scent. It really, really is. Um, yeah, but I get that. I get the citrus, I get the black currant, and I get the green tea. And I think the musk and the sandalwood are kind of sit back in the scent. They're a little more in the background. My guess is they, they're they just kind of round outers. They just sort of round out the uh, the citrus and the green tea and the black currant. 
yeah, the sandalwood and the musk. Um, I think in a lot of sense, they throw sandalwood in the background to round it out, and you can't really go wrong with that. I think in a lot of sense, it adds sort of like a creamy, a slight creamy touch in the background. This it smells really good, but yeah, in this scent, yeah, sandalwood and musk are definitely more in the background to my nose on this scent. Um, but yeah, just really nice, the citrus, the green tea, the black currant, just, it's just phenomenal and it's not, and I don't like when scents are too colony, but this one, it's just really pleasant. It's not offensive. You could really, you could wear this anywhere to any occasion. Um, I would say it's probably more of a spring summer scent. because it does have that brightness from the citrus and the greenness from the, the green tea and I guess the galvanum. I don't know what galvanum smells like. I'm not sure if I'm smelling it, but. Yeah, it's, it's just really good, man. It's not, yeah, it's not super strong in, in your face. There's just nothing offensive about it. Oh, these Astra Blues are doing a pretty good job. Yeah, Astra Greens are usually my go-to, but these Blues are really good. Yeah, very nice shape. And I'm really happy that Sterling makes dupes of Creed Colognes because I don't, I'm not going to drop $300 on one. I don't know about you, but not my style. All right. It's, yeah, it's just so great that they offer these Creed scents that I mean, you just can't beat Sterling's prices. Like the aftershaves are like $12. 5.8 ounces of soap for like 14 bucks now. Unbelievable. All right. Across the grain on the mustache. We're going to get a little bit above the lip here. Yeah, I know in one of my last videos, uh, Eric from Better Every Shave, he, when he saw me doing that, he mentioned that he didn't see a lot of people or other shavers doing that. Um, that's kind of funny. I got to pay more attention to other people's videos and s see if they, if they do that or not. But I always like doing it. Because I always used to miss little hairs up here, so... All right, very nice shave. Yeah, and even though that Edwin Jagger D86 is mild, it's, it's still, you know, it's not fully BGS, but man, it's good. Really, really nice, comfortable shave too. Yeah, sometimes you're just in the mood for those mild razors. You know, if you're not in the mood to like think too much about the shave, it's great, so. get ready for the mountain man aftershave boom look at that love the axe on there yeah it's funny because like when you look at the label you just assume it's like a like a really woody type scent uh, but it's good it's really really good It's a good scent. <laughs> yeah, my fiance just loves this one. Um, yeah, I know Matt from Shaving the Day. That's his wife's favorite scent. I can't really blame her. It's just Mountain Man is just a great, great scent. 
really bright, uplifting, non-offensive, really well blended, just excellent, excellent. Gotta love Sterling, man. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching my shave. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, and I hope everyone is having a great start to their spring. And I will see you next time. Take care.